Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script a music system on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game and as you'll see, as soon as we go in, a song will begin to play uh, and it'll give us a little notification on the top with the song name. If we want to mute the song, all we have to do is press this mute button and it'll mute it and we can unmute it by pressing it again. Uh, and then if we want to skip the song, all we do is click the skip button and it'll play a new song. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do before we can even get into scripting this, we have to create our different GUI elements. Um, so all I have right here is a mute button, a skip button, and our song label. You could create these if you want, um, but I also have a model in the description with all of these already set up. So you could grab that or create these, but after you're done and have those in your game, we can actually get into scripting this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script underneath of our music GUI. Um, and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to name this script Song Manager, but you can name it whatever you'd like. And the first line that we have inside of the script is I want to get a reference to the Marketplace service. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I know we're not using dev products or anything like that, but the way we get information about assets, such as name for our song or maybe price or anything like that, we have to use the Marketplace service. So I'm just going to say local Marketplace service equals game colon get service Marketplace service. After this, what I want to do is I want to set up a variable as an array for all of our different songs. Um, so this is just going to be where we store our songs, but you could set this up however you'd like, but I like doing it like this. So all we're going to do is say local songs equals, um, then I'm going to press shift and then the square bracket to create an array. And then in here, we're going to store all of our different songs. So let's just say I wanted to add my first song. All I want to do is go to Roblox and copy the song ID, the sound ID for the song. And then all we want to do is put in the ID right here. So if mine was one, two, three, four, five, I'd put that. And then if we want to add another song to this, all we do is we put a comma, then we put our next song, put a comma, put our next song. And then for however many you have, all you want to do is you just want to make sure that for the last element, for the last song that you have, you don't put a comma just so that it still works. Um, but in this case, I have two songs that I want to put in. So I'll put in my first song ID like this, and then I'll put a comma, and then I'll put in my final one, but then I won't put a comma after that. Um, after this, what I want to do is I want to create a new object under our music GUI right here. Um, and this is going to be a sound object. And the reason we need this sound is because this is where we're actually going to play our song from. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to name this sound song. Um, I'm going to head back into our script and I want to create a variable for it. Um, but besides for that, I also want to create a variable for a mute button, a skip button, and our song label. So all these different things I want to make variables for. So all we're going to do is say local song object equals script.parent.song do the same thing for our song label so local song label equals script.parent.song label I want to do the same thing for both the mute button and for the skip button after this what I want to do is I actually want to get into playing our songs um, the first thing we do in order to do this is we're going to create a while true loop so that it'll loop our songs over and over and over again so all we're going to do is we're going to say while true do and then we're going to press enter it's going to end it off for us um, and inside of here, what I want to do is I want to create a for loop. And this is going to make sure that we get to play each one of these songs in order. So all we're going to do is say for i equals 1 for our first song, index equals 1. So from our first song to our last song, which would be number of songs, do. Um, and then in here, so this is going to loop through each of our songs. What I want to do is I want to get the song ID. So for each of our songs, whichever one we're on, I want to get that sound ID so that we're actually able to play it for our user. So all we're going to do is say local song equals songs and then in brackets we'll say i index after this what i want to do is i want to get the information about the song um, just like i was saying earlier with the marketplace service this is the way that we get the song name so that we can display that to the user so all we're going to do is say local song info equals and then we're going to call the get product info method marketplace service so marketplace service calling get product info um, and then in here, it takes one argument. All we have to do is pass in the product ID, which would be our song right here. So this will give us a bunch of different information about the song. But in this case, we're just interested in the name. Um, after this, what I want to do is I want to load up our song. So I want to set the sound ID variable of this song object right here um, to whatever our song is. So we're just going to say song object dot sound ID equals. Uh, and the way we have to do this, normally you'd say, okay, yeah, I can just put song. But in this case, we have to say rbx asset ID colon slash slash and then our song. Um, so all we're going to do, create quotes right here, create a string. We're going to say rbx asset ID colon slash slash. And then on that, we're going to add on our song. Um, and I know this is a little bit tedious, but this is just the way Roblox has us do it. So just do it like that. 
Um, and after this, what I want to do is I actually want to play our songs. I want to play our song object. So we'll say song object, call and play. That's all you have to do so far just to get the song playing. But now what we want to do is actually bring up the notification for the player to tell them that the song's playing. So all I'm going to do is make this notification right here visible. I want to set the text to whatever the song name is. I want to wait a few seconds and then I want to set it to be invisible. So it's kind of like one of those notifications that comes up on the side of your screen, except it's coming from the top. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to say song label dot visible equals true and that brings that little blue GUI up. We want to set the text of it to the song name. Um, we're going to use this variable right here we created earlier, this song info variable. So we'll say song label dot text equals song info dot name. So now we have the name of the song from that ID. Um, now I just want to wait three seconds and then I want to set the visibility property of that song label to false again just to make it go away. So all we're going to do is say wait three and then song label dot visible equals false. After this, what I want to do is I want to set up something that waits until the song stops and then it goes to the next song because we don't just want to keep going song after song every three seconds. We want to keep actually wait until the song's finished playing and then we want to go into the next one. I mean, this next part is a little bit confusing, but just follow along the way I do it and you have it set up right. All we're going to do is we're going to repeat wait. So we're going to wait until the song object that is playing is equal to false. After this, you'll notice this pretty much is a complete music system um, that comes up with the song name. But all I want to do is I want to add these two buttons right here, the skip button and the mute button. I want to make them work because I think they add some really cool features to your game. Um, so we'll start with the skip button. It's super easy to make. All we want to do is get whenever that skip button's clicked. So we'll say skip button dot mouse button one click and we'll connect it up to a function. Um, whenever it's clicked, all we want to do is we want to stop the song and then it's going to automatically go and play a new song. So all we have to do is say song object colon stop call the stop method of that song object um, and it'll automatically as we do it down here go into the next song but that's all we have to do for the skip button so that's all done um, and now what I want to do is I want to set up our toggle mute button on um, this one is just a little bit more complex all we're going to want to do for this is check the volume so we're going to say if the volume is equal to anything greater than zero or 0 0.5 then we want to set the volume to zero so if it's unmuted we want to mute it otherwise we want to unmute it by setting the volume back to 0 0.5 um, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to once again hook into the mouse button one click event of that mute button. So we'll say mute button dot mouse button one click, connect it up to a function. Um, and in here, what we're going to do exactly what I just said. We're going to say if the song object dot volume is equal to 0 0.5. So if it's unmuted, then what we want to do is mute it by setting the volume to zero. So song object dot volume equals zero. Otherwise, what we want to do is set the volume back to 0 0.5. So if it's muted, we want to unmute it. If it's unmuted, we want to mute it. So we'll say song object dot volume equals 0 0.5. Um, and that's actually all we have to do for the script. We can go into the game real quick to test it out. And as you'll see, what will happen as soon as we go in, the song will begin to play. Um, and that little notification comes up on the top with the song's name. Uh, and if we want to mute the song, all we do is press the mute button like this. It'll mute it. We can unmute it by pressing it again. And if we want to move on to the next song, all we do is press skip. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, add the pastebin link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.